Hello, so uh, doing this lead code um, contest 171 um, that was yesterday. So the first problem was um, of the contest was this problem 1317 convert integer to the sum of two non zero integers. So the problem says given a, um, an integer n, um, we have something called non zero, no zero integer, which is just a positive number that doesn't contain any zero digit, like any digit zero in its decimal representation. And so when I return any two numbers, a and b, such that both are not, no zero integers, which means they don't contain zero, any zero digit, uh, um, or digit zero itself, and then their sum is equal to n. And we are guaranteed that there is a solution. So for n equal to two, we can just take one and one, both don't, don't contain any uh, zero, and so we return two. 11, 2 and 9, their sum is 11, and they don't contain zeros. Um, so let's see how we can solve this problem. So you can see n can be up to 10 to the power of 4, which tells us that an O of n um, algorithm would work fine. So this is a pretty straightforward solution, right? We can just go through um, n, go through from 0 to n, or from 1 to n, because we know 0 contains 0, right? And then just find two numbers um, that don't contain zero essentially <laughs> just literally um, a translation of the problem and so here um, we need to go from 1 to n and then um, we check that so if for i and another number to be equal to n that number has to be n minus i right so we just check i and n minus i and make sure that they don't contain zero these numbers don't contain zero so to check that in Python, we can just check zero is not in the string representation of i, right? Because um, let's say we have 102, right, as a number. We just convert it to a string and make sure that there is not zero in it. But here it would be in it, and then we'll return false. Otherwise, if it was three, zero is not there, so we'll return um, true. So we check that. And for the other number, which is for them to be equal to their sum to be equal to n, um, it has to be n minus i, so we check also that 0 is not in um, n minus i, right? And then we need to convert it also to string to be able to check that. And then at the end, if we find the first two that we find that verify this um, criteria, we just return them, so i and n minus i. Very straightforward. And this, um, the time complexity for this is O of n, space complexity is O of 1, right? So if we submit this, um, it passes the test cases. So now, since this is an easy problem, we we'll just try to do it in different ways, right? Um, so while here we are doing not in zero, zero not in two times, which is kind of not really good. So we can just take the concatenation of the two and check if zero is in there, right? Because if there is zero in any one of them, concatenating them and checking that zero is there, we will find it, right? And so we could just make that in one, um, not repeat the, the zero not in part. Um, so I'll submit this. Okay, so it still passes. Now another way we could do this um, string um, thing here, so Python has this format um, has this format function where we could say the first put the first thing here in this zero and put the second thing here in this one right and then format apply format and just say so if I just show you in Python what the format function does so format function here if I give it let's say zero and one so I need to just give it the arguments to replace zero and one with. So I could give it like, let's say character A and character B, it should give me AB. If I say this is maybe A and this is B, it would give me BA, right? So we just put the first argument in the zero position, the second argument in the one. And so here we want, well, any order is fine since what we are interested in is just that zero is there. So you could just say I and N minus I. These are the two arguments, and that's pretty much it. Submit. Um, okay, so that passes. The other thing is actually it's not since here we we don't care actually about the order also, and could just 
by definition it will put the first one here the second one here so we could also do that so that still passes um, the other thing also is that Python has this nice, nice thing that can you can do instead of using format function you could just put f before the string and then just put your string as it is so whatever you we were putting a format here we'll put inside it and it will kind of replace the value of it instead so we could just remove this and this will do the same thing except we need to use a single quote and this will work in the exact same way as the format function we did before so same thing let's run this so it will just replace with the values Lit code is a little bit slow. Um, um, just while this is running, the other way we can write this is um, so this for loop we can write it as a list comprehension. Um, so it passes, let's submit. So we could write it as a list comprehension, which means for let's call this i here. So we could just say if put the if in the list comprehension part like this and what we want is um i and n minus i so just for loop instead of writing it in this way we could write it as a list comprehension and then just say we want the next one which means the first one out of this iterator and so if you look here in python's um so what next does is from an iterator, it will just give you. Um, so if I give it the range of one, uh, the range of five, it will give me the first one. So it'll give me zero. Uh, so the range is not an iterator. Let's give it maybe um, something like this. So an iterator. So let's say i for i in range of five. So it should give me the first one, which is zero. If I do two here, it will give me two, the first one. So it just gives the first thing in the iterator, and that's what we want. The first thing that has, that matches this condi these, um, this condition, this if, in this range, we want to get that. And so we could just replace this entire thing with this one liner, and that will give us the exact same thing. So this, the previous one passed. Um, um, Okay, I made a mistake here. So n, i and n minus i for i in that range. If uh, I didn't return it, sorry, I forgot to return it. Okay, so it passes. Um, yeah, so that's um, th 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 those are just different ways you could uh, you could do this problem. Um, yeah, so th that's it for this. Um, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please uh, press a like and subscribe. Um, thank you, and bye.